jump, just jump over. Jump. Like, no, no, you combine with the Hamza, yeah. but don't pronounce okay. wow. Right. Most of us pronounce it you. like you. Like Y O U. That's not the pronunciation. We are trying to combine ya with the vow. Vow is just to help the Hamza to sit on. So you have to combine this with the Hamza, like that, and don't pronounce this vow. You kind of a little jerk to the, the tongue. You okay? Don't say you because you miss your pronouncing vow. And wow was not there to begin with anywhere. We took the help of wow for writing purpose only. To help write the wow, the, the word you minuna, we took the help of wow only. Okay? You minuna means they believe. You minuna means they believe. Hmm. So for Hamza, you have to stop the breath, right? They say Hamza, you stop the breath. A little you. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A jhatka is like a little shock. Yeah, a little shock. So just like you're giving a little shock to you. Yeah, break it. Very briefly and then move on. Okay? But if you don't do that, you can say you, you're continuing and you're pronouncing wow. Okay, and there's no word that has that meaning. Okay? So you minuna means they believe. They believe, they believe in what? B has many meanings. One of the meaning is in. We say Bismillah in Allah when we say Bismillah in Allah. And this is a noun who and it means it. This, it is pointing to Al-Kitab again. In it, they believe in it, means they believe in the Kitab. They recite as the rite of recitation is, and they believe in it. Okay? They just don't read it, but they believe completely in this book. Okay? So when we combine these two words, Ba is a B and who. So it should be in it. Okay? Now, again we do the same thing for the recitation easiness. We pronounce it like be he. We don't pronounce be who. It doesn't come out easy on the tongue. Okay? You pronounce both kasra to make easy on the tongue. Now, whenever you are listening to any some Pari's recitation and when he recites the word bihi, try to listen that word. It comes out very smooth, both kasras on the tongue. Sounds good. If he tries to pronounce it bihu, it will not sound very good. Okay? So for tajweed, this is recited as bihi. Okay? So they believe in it. These people believe in the book as well as they recite with the right of recitation of the Quran. Okay? Or the Kitab. Then next word is... Can I just ask a quick question again? Sure. Here. When we translate it as believe, so there is... Is this just... Belief, or is there another element to this Yominuna as Iman versus Islam? Action, or is it just follow and believe and follow? You have to take the, the, the complete picture, complete the, as a whole. The deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be taken as a whole, complete. So, this, this word Yominuna implies that? It, it implies that they believe in the book. 
Okay. And when book is saying do this, they go and do that. So there's book an says that there's now you have to action. Yes. Okay. Because hak is okay. that whatever that book is demanding you now, okay. you go and do it. It's not just a theoretical or literal belief. There is there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There is no and, and and this was proven by those people who first accepted the book, and they sacrificed their lives. Okay. So they, they did all these things to show that this is not just a theoretical lecture in the classroom. But practically they have come forward and sacrificed to implement the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their own lives as well as the life of the societies. Okay? So then Allah says, Wa yakfur. Wa means and. Okay. Man means whoever. Waman and whoever. Okay? Now let's look at the word Ka, Fa, and Ra. Okay? This has many meanings, okay? Let's just take one meaning to reject or to deny or to do kufr. To reject. A literal meaning of kafara is to hide. Yes. Okay. Like as mentioned before, the, the, the farmer who hides the seed in the ground is called kafir. <laughs> because yes. he is hiding the seed in the ground put, and then waits for the ra rain to come down and the seed is sprouts. So kafara means to hide. Okay. So in the, in the religious terminology, the one who hide, tries to hide the facts of the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or he rejects that. Okay? So that is the meaning of kafar. And yaf'alu, if I put a ya in the beginning, yaf'alu means he does. That is the grammar here. Present tense, third person. Yaf alu. He does. Okay? So this word will become yaf furu. Yaf furu. Just use this grammar. The only difference is that fa will carry a dhamma of this. In this one. Yak furu means he, third person, present tense, he rejects. He rejects. So when the word man comes and the next word is yakfuru. Okay? Man has some effect on the next word. Okay? It's a conditional word and whoever does such a thing. You may not have done it, but it's a statement of condition being made that whoever does kufr. Okay, then this man changes the last letter here to a sukun. So this becomes yak fur. That is only when man comes there. Okay. So separately you will read it. Waman yak fur and whoever rejects. And whoever rejects or denies. Okay. Yakfuru means he rejects. Yakfuru means he rejects, but because of the man, the, this last letter changes into a yeah. sukun, meaning doesn't change. Whoever rejects. Okay. So, in, in the sense that we're Amana means peace, Yakfur would mean the opposite of peace or not? Not peace. peace. Uh, the word was not Amana, word was Amana. Amana, okay. okay. 
believes. Believes. And this is the opposite of that. It is the opposite of that. Yeah. Disbelieves. Disbelieves. Okay. Another word, good word is disbelieves. Okay. Again, the word is behe. Same word. Behe. Rejects in it or disbelieves in it. Okay. Whoever disbelieves in it means in the book. Okay. Whoever. It's an open statement. Okay, you have a question? Yeah, if the be he that uh, has the ya at the end, is, should we read it as, as a six alif or not? Okay, is now notice that one? very interesting, good thing you pointed out. You're talking about this one, right? Yeah. Notice that there is no hum, there is no hamza here, so there is no mud here. But if you look here, there was a hamza, so there was a mud there. Yeah. So this one should not be stretched. Here you will read. Tilawatihi. Because there is a six alif sign above. Right. But here, vow is the letter. There is no hamza. So this will be read short. Okay. Bihi. Thank you. Yeah. And there's no stop. So. The stop is not there, but you pronounce bihi short. For a short part. Yeah. Here you have to last ha here, you pronounce he. Right. Here it is he only. Mm -hmm. Okay, because there is no. Hamza after that. So hum, there's no effect of Hamza on that. Okay? Also the recitation will be my yakfur. Well, I'm coming to that. Yeah. Okay? So now Bihi, whoever disbelieves in it or rejects it. Okay? The other thing is that in the recitation, when you have a noon and you have a ya after that, okay, then the sound of noon changes into a noon hunna. Okay? And so you put a shadda here and then put it like that. Wa ma yakfur. Okay. In Arabic they don't change that one. But you have to pronounce the noon with the sound of noon gunna. Wa ma yakfur. Okay, that's the tajweed. Okay. And whosoever or whoever rejects or disbelieves in it. This is very open. Whoever is that person disbelieves in it. There's also I saying like Whoever uh, leads can uh, to the straight path and never can be misguided, and ones who he, 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 the one who strays can never be right. But th that's a different yeah. discussion. That's the topic there. But here is an open okay. challenge yeah. to everybody that whoever wants to disbelieve in this, in it, in this book, then Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala tells the end of those people. What will happen to those people? who disbelieve or reject the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is these next three words فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ okay so the word we already know means أُولَٰئِكَ means those فَا means then or so okay so 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 such people are those people the next two words are Humul Khasirun. So Humu means they. Or those. And this is pointing to those who did Kufr. Those who reject it. Okay, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning who are those people or what are those people who have rejected the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. So the root letters are Kha, Seen, and Ra. Okay. And this means to lose, to be in loss. Khasara is commonly used the word. 
nuksan, the loser. Okay? So, khasirun is the loser. The person who loses is khasirun. Okay? Doer of the action. Like sajada, sajidun. Sajada means to make sajda. Sajidun is the person who is making sajda. Hamidun is a person who is doing hamd. So by putting an alif between these two letters, we make the doer of that thing. Sajidun, Hamidun, Abidun. So when you put an alif between the first and the second letter, you make the fa'il, the doer. Okay? So doer in English we just put an er at the end, loser. Okay? Its plural is khasirun. You can just write down it this way. Ha si ru. Khasiruna means losers. Plural. This can also be written as like this way. It's the same as Hasi Runa. Okay. This, this alif can be written as short alif between Ha and C. Same thing. Okay. If I put Al before that. Al means Da. So it becomes the losers. Okay. But isn't the alif silent? No, 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 no. Is it, it is just rewriting this alif? Ha. This ha is combining with this alif to make the sound of ha. No, in, the, in here, alif ha siruna. See, talk. Okay, I'm coming to that. That's a different alif. That is. You're talking about this alif. That separate thing. This alif here is just a rewriting of this alif here. Okay? So this is now the word is al khasiruna means the losers. Okay? So this word is hum. Hum means they. Hum means they. And now the other word is al khasiruna. Al khasiruna. The losers. Okay, so these are two separate words. Hum means they, al khasiruna the losers, okay? If you read these two together, how will you read? You will combine this meme with this lam, okay? For doing that, first thing you will have to do is change this sukoon to a fatah and do not pronounce this thing. Okay? So you will pronounce who? Actually not who Fatah Yeah. Okay. So you will pronounce who? Mul. Okay? When you do that, you are not pronouncing the Alif. But Alif had a Fatah on that. So what you do? You change this Fatah to list a little swad. Okay? And now do not pronounce Alif. This is called Hamzatul Wasal. Alif with a swad on it, Hamzatul Vasal, which means it is not pronounced anymore. Okay? So, for the recitation, for the Tajweed, two changes take place. Actually, you can pronounce Hum Al Khasiruna. There's nothing wrong in that. If you are reading slowly, you can say, Ulfaulaika Hum Al Khasiruna. 
the meaning will be there and you are speaking it correctly. But when the tajweed is done, when the recitation is done, then we connect words to hear it better, okay? And follow the rules of the tajweed. When we do that, what we do? There was a sukoon on meme. We take out that sukoon and put a dhumma. Don't pronounce alif. Connect meme to lam. So now pronunciation will be hu, mul, khasiruna. They are the ones who are the losers. Now, by, you could say that if hum, suppose whom was not there in the Quran. Okay? al khasiruna. They are the losers. The meaning is complete. If the whom was not there, they, such are the, those are the losers. Those is there, and the loser is there. Okay? So those are the losers. But by bringing home what, what's happening, emphasis is being put. They are the ones who are the losers. Okay? Whom is bringing the intensity that these are the really people who are the losers. Because they are rejecting the book of Allah. And after that there is no guidance for them. So they are the real losers. Not the losers who have lost their lives or their properties or anything. Those are not the losers. These are the losers. Okay? Such people are the losers. So that is the intensity of this word whom in there. Okay? So those are, so meaning will be those are the losers. <coughs> so even if a short ayat of the Quran has so much depth in it and it gives the full message. <laughs> you just gotta like uh, magnify the word. You gotta look deep into it. Actually, we need to understand and act. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, we should get out of reading the Quran the way we have been I reading. mean, if you, if, you, if you do the simple steps, you can go a long way. So I don't think we'll be able to do yeah. the next ayah. We'll, inshallah, we'll continue the next ayah yeah. next time. Just one good question. Sure. The stress on humun khasiruna, and is there a difference between that humun in allah zina atayna humun or hum? No, uh, in there there is, no there. there is no stress here. There is no stress. Okay. There is no stress here. Okay. But I'm saying that even if whom was not there, the sentence was complete. Okay. Those are the losers. Okay. But if you want to say those are the ones who are the losers, then you're bringing the whom in there. Do you have a question? Anybody else have a question? Yeah. Uh, in the end, uh, right. So if you notice that, even though when we stop. But this fata has to be there. Okay? Fata tells you that what was the last sound of the noon. In case you don't want to stop, yeah. then you will have to decide. So you are given a cho choice to go? To stop you, you, if you, there, there is a choice. Quran does not have choice. Sure. Okay? As long as they are not, meanings are not changed, they can do it. But important thing is that if we are taught to read this khasirun, but we are still required to put a fata on this one. Okay. If we don't put fata, then the reader will not know how to continue it. So even though we are stopping saying khasirun, but because the original word has fata on it, the word is khasiruna. Khasirun is not the word. The word is khasiruna. We are stopping to, in, in the tajweed. But the complete word is Hasiruna. Okay. Is this the part when when they talk about how uh, with, the, with, with the children of Israel they still they, 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 uh, um, No, this this is this is not for Bani Israel. This is for us. No, I'm talking Sahih about this for us. <laughs> no, no, one twenty two. I'm talking about one twenty two. Brother, I'd like to um, pinpoint the uh, to to our brothers and us again as a reminder the five rights of Quran which all of us uh, sometimes forget 
The first one is to believe in it. Second one is to read it in the right manner, the way it should be read. Third is to what? Uh, read it, understand it. Understand uh, this it. Uh, to, to implement on it. Yeah. And then the fifth, uh, I mean, the last one is to teach it, which teach is the best. best. The best uh, yeah. of, of people. You have to go for steps. Yes, the five rights of the uh, Quran. That's yeah. how. So that's, we always forget that. You know. But uh, is that when the circle comes every time we, we must stop? No. You mean circle means this one? Yeah. Every time we must stop. No, there are rules for that. <laughs> in the grammar. The, uh, in it's not anything to do with the grammar, it's the speech. Oh. There are rules defined, so you don't break the meaning, you don't misconnect the meaning. Am I having to all the rest of